Now, for its usual purposes, i.e. stargazing, the Perth Observatory in Bickley here is probably best visited by night. But it's not stars I'm chasing today, it's history. In 2005, this building and everything in it made its way onto the state's Heritage Register in recognition of its scientific, cultural and historic significance. 120 years of service within these walls. Let's check it out. Our guide today has been a space junkie for as long as he can remember. Matt Woods is the space tour overlord and he definitely loves his job. So Matt, tell me about your job here. So I'm one of three paid staff and we also have 120 volunteers of which look after the observatory and it's more than 120 year history. Gosh, so what's the oldest thing here? Well, there's a wide variety of stuff here in our museum, but the oldest is definitely the Atlas Celestis. It was published in 1719 and it's the first proper star atlas and it shows all the stars you can see from the Greenwich Observatory in England. So not surprisingly, it's under lock and key, but there's a big hunk of space chunk of rock over there with nothing around it. What's the go with that? Uh, well, it's pretty safe there because it's 189 kilograms. So we, you can touch it, but uh, we don't pay for people's chiropractic bills if they try <laughs> to lift it up. <laughs> I understand. So how do we actually see the stars? So we have six telescope domes here and uh, some of them actually have telescopes you can look at at night time or even at, during the day. And uh, yeah, we also have the main research telescope that's still capable of doing research. Okay, so talk to me about some of the research the observatory's been a part of in its history. So we co-discovered the rings of Uranus. We also did studies of Comet Halley in 1986. We even found the smallest exoplanet in 2006, which is a planet around another star. So how much time do you have? Yeah, it sounds like there's a fair bit to go through. All right, speaking of time then, uh, clocks, they're all over the observatory. Is that significant? Yeah, one of the main reasons for the observatory was so that we could provide uh, Perth with its time. So that was not only just the public clocks, but transportation clocks and even government clocks. So this is actually one of those two original telescopes that were used to help determine the time here in Perth. And how's this? Matt was telling me that when the astronomers looked inside the telescope, they could see nine lines to help them measure up the stars, determine our location. Those lines were actually made from spider silk, sourced from tame Victorian spiders. Hmm, not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> There are so many stories to discover at the observatory, day and night. Just make sure you check the opening hours before you come out. And if you'd like to volunteer, get in touch with Matt.